Hi kindergartners, it's Mrs. Fetz and for this week's music lesson you're going to be practicing steady beat. And if you did last week's lesson, I showed you a video about what steady beat is. And steady beat is kind of like the heartbeat of music. And sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, but it always stays the same, just like your heartbeat. If you feel your heartbeat, if you've just been running around and playing outside, your heartbeat might be fast. If you've just woken up in the morning, your heartbeat might be slower, but it's always steady. Okay, that's the same with music. Sometimes the music is fast, sometimes it's slow, but the steady beat is the same. Okay, so today you're going to practice doing some actions to a steady beat that I'm going to play on a couple different instruments. Okay, so the first instrument looks like this. Doesn't look like an instrument, does it? And if you're looking at this thinking what it is, I'm hoping you think it might look like a frog. And my king frog, I call him king frog because he's pretty big. He's about as big as my head. And he's got these ridges on the top of his body. And I use this special scraper and scrape it to make a sound. And maybe it might sound kind of like a frog to you. So this is my king frog and he's going to help us keep a steady beat. And for this steady beat, all I want you to do is clap your hands to the steady beat. Okay? So, I want you to listen to the speed or how fast or slow I'm playing him, and you're going to clap your hands. My son, Elliot, is going to help us out. He's going to show you what the steady beat's going to be, and I'm going to play the frog. Okay? So, you're just going to clap while you listen to the steady beat on the frog. Okay? Everybody ready? Here we go. So you can listen to it first. Good. All right, thank you, Elliot. Nice job, boys and girls. So that's clapping to the steady beat. Every time I played one scrape on the frog, Elliot was clapping and keeping the steady beat for us. The next one is going to be a drum. Now I want you to look at my drum and tell you, tell me what you think it looks like. What do you think it looks like? Lollipop. A lollipop. You can't eat this lollipop, but it does look like a tasty one. So this is my lollipop drum. I'm going to play another steady beat, but this time, instead of clapping your hands, I want you to pat your legs. Okay, so this time you're going to pat your legs to the steady beat that I play on the lollipop drum. And Elliot's going to help us again. He might have to stand up a little bit so you can see him patting his legs. So we're patting our legs this time. All right, so listen to my drum, and you're going to pat the beat the best that you can. So every time I play the drum, Elliot and you at home are going to pat your legs. Okay, here we go. Okay, thanks Elliot. Awesome job everybody. So that was patting the beat on our lollipop drum. Okay, the last one we're going to do today, one more different instrument, and I want you to look at this instrument, and you probably can tell me, maybe you can tell me, think about it at home, what shape this instrument is. And if you guessed a triangle, you're right. So this is called a triangle. Okay, and my triangle has this little beater that I use to make a sound. Okay, so triangle is going to be our last instrument to do steady beat. So for this steady beat, I want you to pat your head. Okay, so every time I play one beat on the triangle, one tap, you're going to pat your head. You can use one hand or you can use both hands. So Elliot's going to show you how that's going to look. You're going to listen to me play the triangle and pat the steady beat on your head. Okay? Here we go. Last one.
I think so, yeah. All right, nice job, boys and girls. So I hope that helped you get a better idea for what steady beat is, okay? So we had our three instruments today. We had our frog. He was made of wood. We had our lollipop drum. And we had our triangle, which is made of metal, okay? So after you watch this video and practice your steady beat at home, for your assignment, I want you to tell me what instrument was your favorite of those three that we did. And whatever instrument you picked, can you tell me what you think it's made of? Because they all were made of different things and they make different sounds. So I hope you have fun doing some steady beat and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.